Hi, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. In this video, I will be uh, taking uh, this discussion that was uh, posted in Microsoft Excel Users Group in uh, LinkedIn, and uh, I will take uh, basically the solutions provided by a couple of guys, and I'll provide all the links, of course, uh, in the uh, in the uh, comments in the video, uh, just to see how to solve a problem. Uh, okay, you have your invoice numbers and you have, let's have a look, hundreds of them. And you want to just check which ones are duplicate values. So someone's typed it in incorrectly twice. So you want to go through the list and basically correct the duplicate entries. Um, so the first, there's two, two ways of doing this and I'll show you the first one here is to you, they both use a count if function. The first way of looking at it, you put in count if and then the range that you're interested in checking out. So basically all of this that goes from A4 to A671, so the whole range of number of invoices. And then you tell Excel, I want to check within that range how many times um, the uh, A4, the, the value in A4, in this case 528, uh, appears. And I want to see if the value of this count if function is greater than one, then will give me a true uh, response, true uh, statement. Otherwise, it's a false statement. So, for instance, it tells me now, and of course, I copied this all the way down, fixing the range. So, it always relates to the range of invoice numbers, but looking at the invoice number to the left. So in this particular case, it's telling me that, for instance, the invoice number 4171 is, should be duplicate. So let's go and have a look. Here is all the um, invoice numbers. We're going to find 4171. And just a second, I just want to select it by itself just to show you that we have a duplicate value and as you can see there was one in row 5 and there's another one in row 311. Let's check just another one uh, to make sure. Let's check 1725 and here it is 1725. Again it tells me yep true it's a duplicate value. So in this way you can basically check um, go through the list of true values, select them all, and basically amend, delete uh, the row, etc., etc., uh, if, you know, according to what you need to do with your invoice numbers. Now, the next one is the same function, but it adds an if statement um, to tell you basically whether it's a duplicate, to, to highlight the second duplicate value. So, for instance, it assumes that the first one is great, perfect what we wanted. The second one is a problem. So it does that by basically modifying slightly the count if. So instead of including the whole range to start off, so from A4 to A6 whatever, it just looks at, it fixes the beginning of the range, so A4, and then it leaves it uh, dynamic. So it, the range that it refers to grows and grows and grows as it goes down the column. And again, it checks the, the value. That means that the first time it encounters a value which we know is going to be duplicate, it does not give us a duplicate statement. What it does, it tells us on the second instance. So for instance, let's select 4171 again. Here you go. And as you can see, the first one, there's no duplicate statement here because what it does, it looks at the range from A4 to A5, looks at the value in A5, and then it uh, it just says, okay, there's no duplicate value, forget it. But then when it goes to the, the row 311, it looks at the range A4, A311, and looks at the value of A311. It knows that it, there's another one in A5, so it says, yes, it's a duplicate value. So, summarizing, count if to find out duplicate values in a range of data. 